Hey guys, it's Alex. Just finished my first day of my transformation. I did back and triceps. Uh, I didn't manage to record the workouts because it was just myself. Probably it's going to be myself most of the time, but next time I'm going to bring a tripod to record all the workouts, or at least a few uh, seconds of what actually I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I feel good, man. The replies from you guys, messages and everything, the support is amazing. So I can't wait to do everything with you guys. I'm really excited. Uh, even though it's fucking awkward <laughs> to, <laughs> to record myself in the gym. Who gives a shit? Uh, yeah, man. So I'm going to post a vlog every week. I'm gonna post once to start with, and after that, I'm gonna start posting more after. Keep an eye on my Instagram, Snapchat, uh, because that's gonna be always constant snippets and like, which what everything I'm doing throughout the day. And at the end, it's gonna be, uh, I mean, every week is gonna be a big one where I summarize everything. Good, so if you guys have any questions, message me, email me, and let's bloody do this. Boom. So I'll show you guys quickly what I'm gonna eat for the next couple of days. So I got, I made chili. So I got chili con carne here with rice, obviously. Uh, lean mint. Uh, I just put my name on it so I know uh, what's on my fridge and stuff. Uh, so I got chili there, lean mint, uh, beans, plenty of veg. And that's it. Um, this is like sweet potato wedges, so nice sweet potato wedges. Veg there with clean, nice uh, chicken breast. And that's it. Just these are the next couple of days will be my lunch and my dinner. And in between, I'll have snacks as well. So nothing too fancy. You just want to keep it clean to um, get rid of the sugar craving and stuff. So not too bad cool So guys, the thing you guys don't know or like you don't do when it comes to fat loss is to think if you want to lose fat, you need to do exercises that will challenge your whole body. So don't do just bicycles or tricep extensions because that is going to work for only one body part. Introduce staff compound exercises that will challenge your whole body. So deadlifts, chin ups, bench press, shoulder press, military press, a stiff lift deadlift stuff like this that will challenge your whole body so next one again i'll show you guys is going to challenge my hamstrings my back my arms my shoulders my core and there so it's like plenty like full body that's the secret man if people sell you bullshit like core shit like that, fuck them <laughs> So this fuck is gonna be a drop set, which means start heavy, give your set 12 reps in this case, and after I'm gonna drop it, drop three, four plates, and go until failure, almost like 12, 15 reps again. That's it, fuck it up. 18. 
I just finished my legs day. Uh, training has been good, uh, going really good so far. But I need to make a confession. So today is like day four since I started the challenge, and I fucked up, man. Uh, I had some chocolate, had some um, like Nutella sticks, which I had. It's such a long day of work. I don't know the sugar craving start, and I just. Stopped and I had some, yeah, I just fell off the wagon. But it's okay. I mean, it's now okay, but it's okay. Because I'm not on a deadline. I'm not racing with anyone. This is a transformation I want to keep, maintain. So I'm not rushing to impress anyone. So you need to understand that sometimes it's going to be okay to binge or like have some like crap food. If you go out with your missus or your like, boyfriend and stuff. It's okay man. Just don't be hard on yourself. And be bloody honest. You can't expect to have amazing results. Oh, look at me, like, why I don't have a six pack yet and you binge on pizza and all that crap. And you go out and you smoke weed and you binge and you yeah, drink and all that. It's like, fuck. Just be honest man. You can't expect results overnight. So yeah. And I told you from the beginning, this is going to be a journey. I'm going to struggle. It's not going to be straight. I'm not going to go, go straight. I'll go up and down and sideways and all that. So, but I want to document and I'm going to be honest. If you see me in bloody Tesco's or like eating crap, just fucking, yeah, come and say something. You fatty. Oh yeah. So, again, and I think the more honest I am, so if I am keep like saying this, it's going to make me to be even more strict. So, what I've noticed in the past, even with my clients, is the fact that if you commit to something and you say it publicly, if you say it to your friends, your family and stuff, or on social media, you tend to get better results because you made that commitment and you don't want to like let yourself down and other people down as well. So, it worked out for me. So, we, when I did my 60 day challenge, my 30 day challenge, oh my God, some days I hated it. I wanted almost to fake my death. Literally, it's like, just say I'm, I'm, de I'm dead and I don't want to go to the gym. But I committed, I didn't want to, but as soon as I started training, I, after I got to the gym, I'm like, oh my God, I feel so good. Training is always gonna make you feel great, man. This all is that, so remember this. All right, so see you guys next time.